Let's talk about stress, baby. Welcome to this week's Weekly Radish and this is a bit of a cringer for me because I'm going to be dredging up an old video that's still on my YouTube channel for you to see and I've put the link at the end of the video. It was a genuine attempt to bring up some important points in a tongue-in-cheek way. In a nutshell, the video is Let's Talk About Stress. For those of you who are of a certain generation, you'll remember the salt and pepper song Let's Talk About Sex Baby. I, in my naive younger days in business, thought it'd be great to do a parody song called Let's Talk About Stress Baby. It's not all about chasing sing the well so stop don't panic even though it's all manic don't let psychology screw with biology step away from technology and have yourself a cup let's tea. talk about stress baby let's and here were the reasons why i felt it important to create that albeit in quite a cringeworthy way so the first reason was because the title itself gives it away let's talk about stress Let's talk about it in a more open, positive and constructive way because many of us know, and I've worked with hundreds if not thousands of people now, we all recognise that stress itself, the word, has a lot of baggage and it's become something that we use inappropriately but also we are often perceived as either weakness or if you want to do stress management, let's go and hug a tree and meditate and I'm not knocking any of those things. It's the perceptions around that there's something soft and fluffy and, and you're weak if you need to take an interest or talk about stress. And the reality is stress, although the word itself may be problematic, represents the feeling that many of us have when we feel strained, when we feel overwhelmed or overloaded or ground down and we need to have a more positive conversation where we're not afraid of being open about it we're also ready to tackle when we feel that it is being overused or inappropriately used but we are doing so in a supportive way a supportive empowering way that doesn't mollycoddle people but does support them and empower them to take back control of their lives and it was a, something that was very important to me and still is that we talk openly constructively and positively about the strain that human beings can be under from time to time. The second reason, and it links into this idea of baggage because there are links between stress, strain and mental well-being, mental ill health. I am somebody, as many of you know, that I've, I've struggled with my own anxieties in the past. Uh, anxiety is a condition and feeling low, feeling crushed by it from time to time. And I've come to realise that again, the way we talk about mental health, mental ill health, mental ill health being a problem um, or a weakness or you just need to pull yourself together, there's a lot of misunderstanding, a lot of fear about how we both open up to talk about it but also how we approach and support people who are struggling. And the reason the Let's Talk About Stress song for me is important is because if we can get our language right about stress and strain, we can start to support creating a climate around how we support people with mental health struggles. Because many of us are managing mental health conditions lifelong. But that doesn't mean they're problematic. It may be that they're problematic from time to time, but they're managing in life. So let's have a more constructive, supportive conversation and create a culture where whether we're feeling overwhelmed in the moment through the stresses and strains of life or we're genuinely struggling with ill health, something is not right in there and we're struggling and straining with anxiety, depression or something even more significant, we can have a climate where we can be more open. We can feel safe enough to go, I'm struggling here. And we also feel confident enough to know how to approach and support that person. The third reason is that I also want it in a light-hearted way, and it kind of feeds through my work in workshops and speaking and these videos, is to use humour as a way to break down those barriers and get us talking about it. And if you click on the video, you'll see that throughout the song there are tips, there are suggestions that I have used in these videos. Step away from the technology. Have yourself a cup of tea. Let's talk about stress, baby. Let's be more open. Let's communicate and let's give ourselves a break. So the idea of the video was to create a more positive dialogue around stress and strain, a more positive support to create a culture and a climate that's positive for being open about mental well-being and mental ill health and mental health problems, and to offer some simple tips in a tongue-in-cheek way. So, the message still stands. It's important to be open in a constructive and informed way. So, if you feel like you're struggling, then talk about stress. Let's talk about stress, baby.
Learn the six steps to putting stress in its place by visiting timeouttoolkit.com and claiming your free ebook, Emergency Stress CPR.